All new and only on Wave 31 News. A family opens up after finding out through our exclusive reporting about a special hearing for the man convicted in the murders of two family members. Thomas Ferguson is one of five men convicted in the 1997 murders of a father and son. It happened in Colbert County. He's been on death row since 1998, a sentence he's been trying to overturn for two decades. He'll have a hearing before the 11th Circuit Court of Appeals later this month. It's set for June 23rd. But before our reporting, the family of the two victims had no idea Ferguson would be appearing in court again. We had 31's Nicole Zedek sat down with the youngest victim's brother, who's still fighting for justice two decades later. This is, these, t these two are my favorite. I have that one at my house. Looking at pictures, Matt McWilliams is instantly taken back to two decades earlier. I remember all of it. Memories flooding from when he was only three years old. Pretty rough on me, just not having an older brother to grow up with. It's been 24 years since Matt's older brother, Joey, was killed here at Cane Creek after coming back from a fishing trip with his father, Harold. And 24 years later, Matt still can't come back to Cane Creek. I don't know, I just don't want to be where that happened. Just doesn't sit too well with me. Matt's brother, Joey, was only 11 when Thomas Ferguson and four others killed him and his father, Harold Pugh. All so the five convicts could steal their truck for a getaway car after robbing a bank in Mississippi. He, he belongs on the death, death row. The jury voted 11 to 1 for life in prison, but the judge overrode that recommendation and sentenced Ferguson to death, which he's been fighting to overturn ever since, never letting family like Matt find closure. We shouldn't be doing this this however many years later. Decades later, he continues the fight to keep his brother's killer locked up, something their mother, who passed away in 2010, would have wanted. I'd do it because she would want me to, and I want to make her proud. And um, something needs to be said, something needs to be done, and I'm, I'm there for it. Matt says he'll be there at that special hearing in Atlanta later this month, and he expects his friends and family members to show up as well. Reporting in Colbert County, Nicole Zedek, Way 31 News. The Attorney General's office says they sent out a hearing notification to the family on April 1st, but as people move and update their address, those notifications can get lost as well. They encourage families of crime victims to notify the office if their contact information changes.